They say if you put Michael Jordan on a team now, he would do more than James Harden. That's possible. If you give this guy the ball, how much does his team score after you give him the ball before the other team gets the ball? It's James Harden. That makes people mad, it's, but it's just, it's literally a fact. Literally a fact. Rocket fans, a James Harden trade is happening to the Philadelphia 76ers. I think it's gonna happen, most of the fact that you have Daryl Morey overseeing the Philadelphia Sixers organization. He knows how to get stuff done. One thing he's not scared of is to trade a motherfucker. He will trade anybody, anytime. I don't care if you're an all-star, good player, you've been there for 30 years straight. If you're not helping the team right now, you gotta go. And Daryl Morey has been a GM, has been a president, has been a guy who wants to win now. He doesn't like tanking he doesn't like improving with young players he doesn't want to trust the process he wants to win now and keep doing it over and over again that's the reason why the rockets need to trade james harden because they have no picks they have no money Hide the money y'all there's poor people around <laughs> to negotiate anybody else nobody wants all the players on the rock want james harden and that's it and yes daryl morey has been on record saying James Harden is the best offensive player ever which that's dumb that's dumb but that's his opinion and he wants to have that again and hmm who's a 6'10 240 pound point guard with passing skills IQ but still can't shoot a jump shot and still prohibits your other star Ben Simmons I don't know if Daryl Morey likes Ben Simmons so he's most likely to get traded because you're not going to pair James Harden and Ben Simmons together you're not going to do that unless you're going to actually put Unless you're gonna actually put Ben Simmons at the four position, like he was a little bit later in the season, that might can work. But even then, the spacing is not gonna be there. You can put Ben Simmons anywhere, and the spacing is not gonna be what it should be because the man can't shoot a 19 foot jump shot. So if you do see Ben Simmons in Houston, it's still gonna be bad for Houston just off the fact that Ben Simmons and Russell Westbrook on the same team. Uh, that's disgusting to think about. But I think James Harden and Joel Embiid will make a great duo just with the fact that James Harden will literally open up Joel Embiid's whole game like it should have been from the start because he can space the floor. He's a threat. James Harden will get double teamed on the perimeter so Joel Embiid can go to work. Also, James Harden is not going to be limited by Joel Embiid's inability to shoot because, because Joel Embiid will shoot some three-point shots. Granted, he's not that good, but he will shoot them especially off pick and pop with James Harden. And the pick and roll gonna be more deadly because you're gonna have to fight over the screen. You can't go under the screen with James Harden. And James Harden is a better pick and roll ball handler and passer than Ben Simmons ever was. Yes, Ben Simmons operates greatly in transition. He's great, he's dangerous in transition. I think he's like the fastest player in the league in transition, something like that. And at 6'10", that's wild. But most basketball is played in the half court offense as you see in the playoffs when ben simmons inability to shoot is on full display while james harden might be the best half court basketball player in the league with the ball in his hands james harden doesn't need transition he can break a defense down he can pick and roll hopefully he comes off screen like he does like he used to early in his years then he has help too elton brand bro you paying the whole you playing you playing you paying everybody you paying everybody so hopefully they get Josh Richardson, Matisse Thibel, and Zaire Smith because the contracts don't match. But if you can keep Tobias Harris, who Philly fans hate, you know what I'm saying, off the money. But he's a better catch and shoot player than James Harden has played with in a while. You know what I'm saying? He, he will hit his threes. And you know what I'm saying? I don't know what to do with Al Horford, how he's going to work. Keep him on the bench, to be honest. I don't care about Al Horford, but Joel and James, that's a great duo. That's a great duo. Joel B is a borderline top 10 player, and he's probably going to get better with that spacing and with the feeds from James Harden. Yes, you're breaking up the two young the two young goats, Ben Simmons and Joel B. They made the Sixers literally unwatchable to being watchable in the span of a year. And people like when homegrown talent wins. But at the end of the day, bro, you gotta make that you gotta make that trade. And it's gonna be hard because James Harden is 31 and he's making 40 million dollars 
for the next three years. So if you get James Harden, you have to win now. You have to. And I think Daryl Morey knows that. I think Doc Rivers knows that. The whole organization knows that. See, when they had Ben Simmons and Joel B, it was just, okay, we're going to get better the next year. The next year. It was no sense of urgency. But now it's to a point where teams are overlapping, y'all. The Celtics are getting better. The Bucks are getting better. The Heat are getting better. Y'all should be... The Sixers should be at the same spot that these teams are at, especially with no LeBron in the conference, but they have not. Mainly because coaching, Brent Brown was on some other shit, mainly because the personnel. Ben Simmons, and you paying all these players. Tobias Harris, Josh Richardson, Al Horford. You can't, you can't do that. You can't. But you're going to have another high plan player, so you have no choice but to win now. If Elton Brand doesn't get the job done, he's fired. He probably won't ever be a GM ever again. <sighs> it's whatever. And James Harden might make Joel B a better shooter just off the fact that he's shooting 42% from three without Ben Simmons on the floor and mainly because he can shoot more open threes. So bearing any... So Daryl Morey, I don't know how he does it, but he he likes to trade and play and I guess GMs like him. So hopefully they get him traded. The Rocket fans probably don't want to trade. James Harden because he gave them life for the last eight years. That'll be it for this video, bro. Close to a thousand subs. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and if you want to see them out.